Welcome back to another video. Last time, or er, no, as well. But last video, we went against the main boss and we got this. And as a result, we're able to move through this wheel barrel. Ooh, I almost went in there. And no, no, go this way. Man, this this thing is kind of annoying. What the? So let me go down. What the heck? Huh. Interesting. All right. Let's move this cobweb and whatnot out of the way, and, and jump down. That would actually be kind of a hard fall because you really you look. You're just pretty much stepping on stone that has water covering it, but still. Now, now what? Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be getting much farther. If you want, if you guys want me to add voices, let me know. Cause really um i i don't mind if i mean if you want me to but go away those things are so annoying because they just hit you while you uh all right this way <laughs> honestly i'm just gonna oh whoops i know where to get the key we're supposed to go over here go away i forgot to get the key i hate those worm things though they're, they're annoying too but so he's... Hey, I missed that. Yeah, you lost. Alright. Um. Oh, crap. I'm getting it. Not necessarily ahead of myself. I'm just kind of not knowing what I'm doing. Even though this is one. You know, I've played this, uh. Dungeon. So oh, wow. I've played this dungeon like. Many oh, yeah, it's right. It's one of these. Destroy this, destroy this, and then we go like this, and then we go like this. Alright, <laughs> I just kind of did a front flip to do that. Wait, I want to try something. I want to see if I could do a back flip off of that, because that would be really cool too. Come on. Oh wait, that I meant nope. I'm not gonna be able to. Alright, now just go this to the right. I almost lost my sense of direction there. And let's go down like this. I'm gonna actually gonna speak louder because one of one of you guys told me to. Kate Caden, whatever your YouTube YouTube channel is called or whatever. He's a good friend of mine on the Zelda Amino, but yeah, I'll I'll try to I'll speak louder like this. And of course I get hit. What do you know? Yeah, like I was saying, there's one of these other puzzle deals. And you got some key. Woo! That was amazing. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, did we get that? Yeah, of course we did. Why? I think that's actually the compass. I have a kind of a bad memory, so. Yeah. I kind of record each video in advance. Like, I'm recording this. What day is today? Wednesday? I mean, I'm kind of late on the. Re not necessarily late. I like to record. What I wanted. Like, I, what I usually do is I record these, like, early in the week. Like, a. Go away. Like, like, Monday. And then uh, I record them, like, the night before the. That they should. The night before they, um. They released the their you know they're kind of their release date. All right, back to the game, and then we do this. I like how I just kind of stay put for like uh, um several seconds there. It's kind of funny. Oh wait, all right, here we go. Oh crap, figures. Yeah, just stay put like that. Good idea. And we go across, and good. And we get the big key. And if I'm not mistaken, the monster we go against is a what is it called? Um, here I'm, I think there's a heart piece over here. It's like a choo choo, but since you're small, it's a giant one. Not really, in my opinion, it's like one of the, probably the less creative bosses in The Legend of Zelda 
this series, especially for the 2D game, 2D, 2D games. I don't know why I couldn't say that for whatever reason, and I got something in my eye. All right. Oh crap! Oh okay. I was kind of stumped for a second there. I didn't know what to do. All right, and then we go up, and then we fight the choo choo. The less, the less, the most last. I don't know. Creative boss of uh, the 2D games. Oh, I'm just gonna say this right now, kind of off topic here. But I get this insane, not necessarily insane, but I get this knee pain. And it's my daggum knee joint. Like the ball joint within your knee. It just, I think it's inflamed. I need to see about icing it. Alright, let's start by uh, getting a heart. You gotta get, you know, you gotta get all your... Oh crap. Alright, I need to attack now. Oh, come on! Okay. He was, he was cornering me there. That would have not have been good if he would have got me. Alright. You can fall now? Alright, there we go. That's good. Dang, we got... Dang, that was, that was a lot of good hits. Ow. Alright. Come on. Got him. Let him fall, let him fall, and then we could strike him. Oh, he landed right on me. That's nice. Some type of a deal. He's actually probably the easiest boss there is. Oh, that's funny. He hit me and then I pretty much just gained health right after that. Okay, no. Okay, I need to hit him because he's just gonna constantly jump. Come on. Alright, he's defeated from this point on. He's pretty much he's pretty much dead. Come on. Fall. Alright, we got him here. There we go. Really easy boss. I think I've said that about three times now, but yeah, he's really easy. And we get the earth, I believe. I just wanted to sing along to that, I guess. You got the earth element. The power of the earth is the source of all living things. The earth element is the embodiment of that power. Alright, got a heart container. Your life energy has increased and been replenished. I'm always used to it being has been replenished. Oh, we've got the earth element. You must tell the elder at once. Yeah, sounds, sounds uh, sensible as well. It doesn't seem like uh, I couldn't have uh, thought of that idea. You're really smart, you know that? It's really funny, because just imagine if, like, some little kid... I'm just gonna go off on a tangent here with this little... Uh, you know, story. Just imagine a little kid. He's, he sees the village, but you know he's really, he's really, he's bigger compared to them. And just imagine the destruction a little kid would uh, waylace to this little tiny village. I mean, with one probably two or three uh, footprints into their little village, or you know, stompings. Oh, dang stompings and then that means it'd be intentional <laughs> all right back to this so you have found the earth element you're blessed with much courage and strength for one so young if your convention holds true head to Macronet. there you will find a man named Mallory. among all the minish there is no one more able to repair your soul if you ask him i'm certain he will reforge your broken piccoli blade i shall send word to him in advance Travel safely, you are brave, but there are many evils now in the world. I mean, he is, you know, the beholder of the Triforce of Courage, so. Leave through this door quickly. Leave through this door quickly. It will take you out of the forest quickly. 
Or wait, leave through this door here. <laughs> Great, now we now we are in your debt. We shall head for my Cronel at once. I like how his is kind of more mellow and as Lo's voice is like literally the same thing, but it's kind of more high pitched and faster paced. And then we talk to this guy. Green clothes and a mystical. Green clothes and a mystical hat. Sir, would you like chance? Would you be? The, would you by chance believe the one who found me? Dang, dude. World travels. Word travels fast. Just like pit. We're. What are we at, at in the recording this? I have no idea because it does not tell me. Like for real, like what the heck? Weird. All right, all right. Surely you, you have heard so many tell. Surely, surely I've heard you. Surely you are. I've heard so many tells about you. I am Valerie. Researcher of antiques, I am also well a bit of an invent, invent, adventure, an inventor. You know you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Debris from what, honestly? Like, what that debris come from? Just fallen rocks? I mean, I would expect that at Mount Cornell, but uh, not. Oh, Daggum, my knee pain. Here, I have something that might come in handy. Sorry if I just kind of go off on a tangent on certain things. I'm trying to improve my commentary, which I believe has gotten better. And by the way, special video coming out for that Saturday vlog. It's going to be a commentary video about something I really want to talk about. I mean, I know which is random to talk about. I mean, I might actually hold it. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it here in a sec. I might... I'll explain it. Oh, wow, well, it blew up? Hi, hey kid, look at where that stone marker went, you used to be. There's something strange, strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course, why this must be. Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm, indeed. But anyways, I might make a commentary channel, or I might... Let me know, should I make, uh... If I make commentaries, should they be on this channel, or should they be, um, should they be on a separate channel? I, just, I, I wanna know. Like, I could do, like, Star, Star Deer's commentaries, or just put them on this channel, which honestly, in my opinion, I think content in general needs to be centralized. That's kind of like how PewDiePie's uh, channel is. He doesn't have a second channel all of his content is centralized which is what I like but if you guys want me to I could easily you know organize it all right let's go in here I forget what's in here oh yeah that's right miss miss mysterious shells I almost said mystery mystery you know same thing but yeah I'm not sure what they're for but let's just hold on to them for now all right, let's go down, and I have no idea how much recording time. I might go to Mount Cornell, or just cut the video down into little chunks, I guess, which I should right now. I don't know. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, and then we go north of here. Yep. And then we're, we get cornered by those one people. Get here, hurry. Come on, come on, see how many kinstone pieces you can collect. You never know what using kinstones will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free kinstones back for holding your kinstone pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for your free kin kinstone bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. Oh, okay. I see how it is. You got a kinstone bag. You can now carry kinstone pieces with you. For us, start to view its contents from your quest status screen. I like how I did a little short pause there, but yeah. Fitting two kinstone pieces together is called kinstone fusion. If you get two pe- The heck? I literally just saw that was weird. It was a little bug that was like flying stupid net. 
Yep, stupid gnats, man. I knew I saw something. If you get two pieces to fit perfectly, great happiness will come your way. I'll put a kinstone piece in your kinstone bag so you can give it a try. Anyone who's ready and willing to fuse kinstones will look like I do right now. Quite ugly, huh? That's, that's nice. When you see that look in their eyes- Oh! Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! I thought- I thought he meant like if you- like if you fuse them so much, you literally turn into like- like a cat creature. I don't know what he looks like. He looks like a owl- I don't know. Owl? Animal? Some animal creature, and I just said ugly, but he means like if they have like if you see like a look in their eye, like yo, 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 I, dude, I got, I got, I got some kingstone pieces. You, you, you want some? I got some, man. It's, you know, kind of like that. Sorry, just kind of going off a tangent there. When you see that look in their eyes, that's when you press L. Yeah, obviously. Use the D-pad to choose a kinstone piece and press A to try fusing it. Did you catch all of that? No, not it. No, I did not catch all of that. Mm-mm. I can't read, man. I'm dyslexic. Sorry. Okay, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm joking. I'm not really dyslexic. Yes, I caught all of that. Then stand in front of me and press L. L-pad. Er, L key, I don't know, L pad, so we can fuse kinstones. Yeah, yes, yes, that's it, press L. Then you can see the kinstone screen. Why am I giving him this voice? Like, for real, what the heck? I have no idea why I'm giving him this voice, but I am. Oh yeah, clears the vines. I kind of liked, I really wish, I'm just... I really wish they could have added, like, this kind of stuff. I mean, yes, I know you have shrines and stuff. And you have the, like, the... It's, it's not really stupid. It's just kind of... Uh, okay, it's not stupid. But then you have the, um... What is it? Where you find the, uh... All the, uh... You know what I mean. Like, the leaves or whatever. Like, the leaf people. Gosh. The ki Kikori? Yeah. Yeah, find happiness. Yeah. Ow. Did you hear that guy's pop? You probably didn't hear that pop, but it, that kind of hurt. Yeah, I know. I know we're Matt Cornell. No one... I forget what I'm supposed to do before. Uh... But, yeah. Hmm... I think we're supposed to go up here, talk to the guard, cause he like, oh yeah, that's right, he like, says, yo, you need to learn this certain move. Yeah, like, that's like so oddly specific on what you're supposed to do, I'm, I'm just gonna say that right now. Oh man. Here, like, you can literally, if I turn this down, you can literally hear it. I just kinda wanted to show you guys it. Yeah, it's, and sometimes it just stops. All right, back back to the video. Back to what's uh should be on subject. Oh yeah, this door sh this door is shut. We can open it from this side. Weird voice I'm giving him right now, but I'm giving it to him anyways. And then we go over here to this guy. He's like, here here's this. Come on. It also would have been cool if they could have implemented, like, where you can get, learn certain, like, I don't know how they would have implemented this in the Breath of the Wild, but, <gasps> oh, excuse me, it just would have been an interesting feature. I am Swift, I am Swift Blade, finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. I'm just gonna say right now, he reminds me of, what's his face from Lord of the Rings? You know who I'm talking about. Oh, crap. If you train with me, I guarantee that you will increase your skill dramatically. So, would you like to train here? No thanks, man. Eh. Eh, you might be good. Eh. I think I'm 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 better I'm better elsewhere. Yeah. So, sorry, man. Please. 
No, this is the other one. Please, let me. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. The spin attack. First, please hold your sword button. Second, build up enough power. Third, release your destructive might. That's all, young swordsman. Do you want to- No, man. Could you- No. No, I'm dyslexic, remember? Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's, that's a nice callback, huh? Aha, very good. You are a, you're a very quick student. But one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I now possess your body so as to demonstrate the technique. I call this the swift blade possession technique of training. Watch us run! Bull, bulls in shun! Yo, that's some demonic, demonic possession stuff, man. It's, it's a little, uh, a little fishy. Then we're, yeah, really sure, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes, fine work, you're a quick, quick, you're a quick study. I will give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You may view it anytime from the quest status screen. I'm gonna go. I almost said attack. I'm not gonna attack him. This isn't Skyrim. You learn the secret spin attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from there, I'm probably gonna end the video there. All right, let's go over here. Oh yeah, there's that one guy from uh, Twilight Princess. It's it's really cool how like they kind of implement different characters from like past games. And is it, you know, dude. Dude, that's, that's just kind of dark, but it's like you do it in front of him and you just like slice him open and then you just see him fall on the ground and you just see like little pixels of like red pixels of what's supposed to be his blood and he dies. <laughs> Dang, this game, that'd be quite gruesome. But there are still, but there are still monsters out there, kid. You just make sure you're careful. But like I said, I'm still improving. I'm just gonna go off a tangent here. I'm still improving my commentary. I'm going to talk louder. Just gonna let you know that I'm talking. I should probably talk about this loud whenever I'm uh, commentating, which I will do. Don't worry. Anyways, if you like this video, please do subscribe. If you, uh, or, or if, no, if you like the video, like the video. If you, uh, wish to subscribe, do so. And while you're at it, click that silver, not silver, but, you know, that bell that's right next to the subscription button to be notified of future content. And if you have any thoughts on this video, uh, you know, just put them down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next and new videos to come. Goodbye!